Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so my birthday is coming up. It is literally this Friday, as if this year is flying by so fast. I mean, it's literally going to be two months time and I'm going to be out in America on my lovely first time holiday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, enough rambling. Um, because my birthday is coming up this week, this week's videos is going to be based around 90s videos. And then throughout the month, I might base some more on 90s, but also probably mainly on Disney just leading up to my holiday. So with today's video, I thought why not do a top 10 90s movies list. So I will be doing a top 10 1995 movies because that was the year I was born. And I will also be doing favourite movie from each year I've been alive. That will be coming out on my birthday on the exact day. So I thought why not do a general one because obviously because I was born halfway through the decade... There'll be some earlier on in the decade that I can't add to the list. So there's some here that will be sort of like from the 1995 onwards, but there's also a few here that are from 1994 backwards. So it's a mix of them both because I thought I can't just focus from 1990 to 1994 only. I thought I have to do the whole decade. So, yeah, so the 90s is one of my favourite decades for movies. I think, say, like I said, because I grew up with them. Um, certain things, I hate to say it, like Jurassic Park and Toy Story will not make this list because this is the movies that personally that I grew up with, that I loved as a child, that I loved watching. Um, but this is strictly live action because I will do a top 10 90s animated list as well. So keep an eye out for that because there's quite a few in the 90s that I loved that was animation that I did want to include in this list. So I thought, why not make it a separate one? So yeah, enough rambling. So let's get into it. So this is in this is this. This is in order. So we're going from 10 to 1. So let's get into it. So at number 10, we have George of the Jungle. I loved this growing up. I think this is the movie that got me into Braden, Brendan Fraser before The Mummy, of course. Um, because I just remember owning this on VHS and watching this on repeat and just having a good time with this. This is a funny film sequel not so much um but no this is a really good film from disney and i definitely look forward to watching it again because i'm going to try and watch 90s movies this month i think throughout the month of august i know we're still in july but you know what i mean like from now until the end of august i'm gonna try and watch some more 90s movies because i feel like there's some i've actually not watched and there's some that i'd like to revisit like george of the jungle because i haven't watched that in a while so yeah anyway <laughs> rambling again uh so at number nine we have ace ventura pet detective ace ventura when nature calls did come out in the same decade and i do enjoy that one but when i had to pick between the two i had to go for the first one just because it's an absolute classic it's funny it's hilarious and it came out in the same year that the mask and dumber and dumber came out so that was the year jim carrey became well known for his comedy and you can see why, because this is such a weird film, but it's so funny at the same time. And it's one of those films that with Jim Carrey, I know for a fact if I ever feel down or if I feel ill, I know he will always cheer me up in some way. And one of the films I tend to go to is Pet Detective. And yeah, so Ace Ventura, both of these are really good. They are entertaining, but obviously I had to choose just the one. Okay, and at number eight, we have Romeo and Juliet. Now, my memory of this is I actually watched this in English class because for some reason in my school, I don't know if it's in anybody else's school, but in my school, they tend to, in English class, show films or sort of like TV programs, you know, or TV movies, just to get you to understand the book a bit more because they obviously know this current generation is not really much into reading and stuff like that. And this was one of the ones we were made to watch. And I fell in love with it as soon as we watched it. I could not get enough of this film. Leonardo DiCaprio and I can never remember her name. Claire Danes, that's it. 
such a good film so even though they speak shakespearean in this you still enjoy it because it's a modern interpretation so even though it sticks to the shakespearean language which i love it also modernized it so that way we didn't get bored it was fun entertaining and of course i had to show the steel book because this is just a lovely steel book but yeah romeo and juliet absolutely amazing Okay, and at number seven, we have The Men in Black. There's no way I could not include this film. Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, absolute classic. The whole franchise is really good, in my opinion. International, meh. Yeah. Um, but the first one is always so entertaining. I remember getting very creeped out by the cockroach, the monster at the very end. Like, when he's unmasking himself. Like, I always got creeped out by that. Now I just get grossed out by it. <laughs> um, but no, this is a really fun film. I've heard we're supposed to be getting another one with um, Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, which I'd absolutely love because I'd love to see where they'd be now. But yeah, if you haven't watched the first Men in Black, at least, I seriously recommend that you do. Okay, and at number six, we have Hocus Pocus. This is an absolutely fun halloween film this is my go-to every single halloween i cannot go a year without watching it it is a staple of my halloween watch list and it will be this year and i can't believe i'm going to be out in america during the halloween season so that's going to be fun <laughs> but yeah i love the sanderson sisters they're so fun even the sequel for me was really good i really enjoyed that film and yeah so if you haven't watched hocus pocus i definitely recommend you watch it this halloween because it's just absolutely amazing okay so we're now into the top five and there was two that i knew were going to be in my top two but the next three were kind of hard to decide where i wanted to put them so we'll get into it so at number five teenage mutant ninja turtles heroes in a half shell donald power Yes, of course, this was going to be in my list. I grew up with these turtles and I absolutely loved the live action. There's some funny one liners out of this, some really good scenes, even the puppetry, even though you think it would have creeped me out as a kid, it didn't. I loved this. And fun fact, I actually met one of them, uh, the actor that played uh, Michelangelo and I actually have a signed autograph. I might have to show my autographs at some point um but yeah this is a classic 90s film and this will never like no turtles movie i don't think will ever beat this because this was a classic this was unique for the time and it is very 90s so when you watch these films you will definitely feel the 90s vibe but more than anything it would be this one you'd feel it the most uh but no this is a really good film and i will be re-watching all the turtles films in prep for the new turtle film coming out and yeah so of course i had to add this okay and at number four we have titanic of course i was gonna add this to my list if you are new to this channel titanic has a very special memory to me um i'll say it again briefly here i've said it many times in previous videos um but with titanic when my mum was pregnant with my sister um i spent a lot of time over my nan and granddad's and basically they showed me this once and I was obsessed with it. I've, every time I went over, all I ever wanted to watch was Titanic. And then I actually have the VHS because my granddad gave it to me because he knew how much I loved this film. And even now, after so many years, I still really enjoy this film. I still cry. I still laugh. I still love this film. Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, just absolutely amazing and if you haven't watched this film i seriously recommend you do not just for the romance but for the cinematography the like even when the ship sinks because obviously we all know how what happened to the titanic um but when that comes to that part how well that was done this is a staple of cinema if you haven't watched it i know it's three hours so even if you have to break it down I still recommend that you watch this because this is an absolutely amazing film from start to finish, from cinematography to acting, to the effects, to the sets, to the costumes, absolutely everything in this film is amazing. So now into the top three. So if you know me, you probably know what the top three are, but if you don't, 
Number three, The Mummy, standing Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Is that how you say her name? Wise? White? Weiss? Weiss? I think it's Weiss. Um, no, I absolutely love this film. This is absolutely an amazing film. This film got me into Egypt and the history of it. Like, anytime there's anything to do with an like Egypt setting, I do watch it. Because this was a fun, action-packed movie. Like, like pretty much with the Turtles, there's so many funny one-liners in this. Brendan Fraser did such an amazing job with this. I know this is a remake of the original, which I still haven't watched yet. Um, but for me, this was my mummy. You know, this this was the one I grew up on. Um, and honestly, if you want something that's fun and entertaining, this is one I would recommend. It's a fun, it's fun adventure and the characters are fun to follow. You want to see what happens next. And yeah, I seriously, if you haven't watched this one, I recommend you do. Okay, and at number two is probably my only horror film. Scream. There's no way I wasn't going to add this to my list. And of course, I had to show off the steel book. This is the horror film that brought me back to horror. Now, growing up, my only sort of like watch of horror was seeing uh, Johnny Depp's scene in A Nightmare on Elm Street, a certain bed scene. I was terrified to watch a horror movie ever again after that. I couldn't even sit on my own bed over my nans at that point. Um, but then I watched this, and this made me fall in love with slashers, with Wes Craven, but also made me fall in love with horror again. And ever since, I love horror. And I just, this is absolutely a staple of that. This helped survive horror. Like, at, at the time, horror was starting to become a bit repetitive. It was starting to get a bit boring. You know, you had the same old thing. You had Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So you had all these horror films that were starting to lose their appeal. And, you've, and at the time, horror was basically starting to die. This then came out, the most meta horror movie you could think of. It is basically you are watching a horror film, but then the characters are talking about horror movies. And yeah, it's honestly, it's meta. It's fun. It's entertaining. The actors are all good in this. Ghostface is an absolutely amazing villain. And I'm obsessed with this franchise. If they have like every single sequel I have enjoyed and every time there will be a new one, I will go and see it. But this, honestly, this is the movie that got me into horror again so thank you very much Wes Craven so gutted that you're no longer with us and that we're not going to get any more of your horror classics but thank you so much for introducing this amazing film into our lives and yet again this is another one that is the staple of my Halloween watch list every single year without a doubt I have to watch this in October no matter what and at number one of course if you know me um obviously which you do um you know that Jim Carrey is my absolute favorite actor of all time so of course I had to include my absolute favorite movie of his of all time in my number one list because I will not be able to put it because I thought it came out in 1994 but it came out in 1990 no, I thought it came out in 1995 the year I was born but it was actually 1994 so this is why I'm including it on this list because I won't be able to include it on my top 10 90s list 95 list and that is the mask yes this was the film that got me into jim carrey i loved this film this is so funny that just yeah absolutely amazing film this is cameron diaz's first ever major role she did amazing in this it is hilarious it's funny it's entertaining the one-liners are amazing and yeah i will never ever ever get bored of this film because you know what it is my go-to film whenever I feel down whenever I feel ill or whenever I know that I want to have a good laugh this will always be it and basically about 90% of this film I could quote word for word I annoy my family so much with this because when I do watch it and they are downstairs and like hovering about I'll sit there and I'll start like mimicking the lines or miming them and then they will be like we get it. We know you know this movie because you've watched it so many times. And it's just something I cannot help doing because honestly, this film, 
Mwah! Favourite so much and I had to include it on this list. No way I wasn't going to include it. So yeah, so that is the top 10 90s movies. Like I said, there's some from 99 to 994 and then there's some from 95 to 999. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on your top 10 90s movies. What's your list? I'd love to see yours. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.